Shout out to DVD Era TV. Salute. DVD Era Sub Zero was a monster in the DVD Era, son. DVD Era TV back at y'all with another one. Y'all know the slogan. Now let's get straight into this one. Now I want to correct some things from my last video on the whole camera on a true life altercation. Now true life dropped his true York mixtape hosted by J love. Now on his cover, as I mentioned, it's a picture of Cameron dressed in drag behind true life along with Jim Jones with some kind of bikini on. Now also in that video, I mentioned that someone from the Dipset camp hacked in true life account on MySpace and uploaded a new cover to this mixtape with Jim Jones being in the front and having Jay-Z and True Life in back of Jim Jones dressed in drag. Now, one of my supporters brung to my attention that I didn't mention that. Not too long after True Life put out his True York mixtape, J.R. Ryder will put out a disc record called True Dyke towards True Life. Now, Cameron is on this record of J.R. Ryder dissing True Life, and it's almost like he's co-signing him and sicking J.R. Ryder on True Life. Now, after True Life put Cameron on his True York mixtape dressed up like a female, Cameron had every right to come at True Life. Now, we got to remember, people look at Jim Jones and Cameron as being two of the main people from Dipset. So if somebody got beef with Cam, they're going to automatically come at Jim or vice versa. So True Life was coming at Cam because he was guilty by association. Even though he may have started with Cam, Cam did get some get back right away on True Life. Now, we know Cam co-signed the J.R. Ryder disc record to True Life and also at Cameron Curtis video shoot when he is being interviewed by Sub-Zero. When they asked him about True Life, he said he didn't know him. How you feeling about the True Life throwing blows at you, my man? I don't know who that is. Who's that? And we all know it's documented that JoJo Capone and True Life was some of the people to come save Cameron and Jim Jones when they had their fight with Junior Mafia. Situation happened at the Rucker. We'll get you out the situations at the Rucker. Now, when you listen to Cameron IG Live, he basically paints the narrative like Jim Jones was just outside beefing with people and he ended up beefing with True Life and he ain't know nothing about it when he did. And I felt like when he spoke on the situation, he wasn't keeping it all the way 100. I don't know he got a problem with, some, with, with True Life. I guess they was beefing or whatever. So, down to this beefing, whatever. I'm downtown the club by myself, Dolo. True life in like three get out of car. I was like, yeah, fuck dip set, da 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 da. We get into an altercation down at the club. It's, it's like three or four is with me. So we get in an altercation. You know, the next day it's publicized, it's all blown out of proportion, whatever. To me, that shit, ooh, I got I got caught slipping. I didn't know motherfucking. I was beefing with this, but it's fine. I don't got no problem. It's, it is what it is. That's part of the street. Now, I just wanted to clear the air with the whole Cameron and true life altercation. Cameron already knew what was up with True Life already because he participated in that whole situation already. Now, this is no shade to Cameron, and I'm not even saying that he backed down in his altercation with True Life. I'm just saying that he act like he didn't know it was a problem with True Life. Now, this wouldn't be the only running with Dipset and True Life or True Life affiliates. Then Jewel and Jim tried to shoot a video on the Lower East Side. Not in our neighborhood, boy, y'all tripping. Now it said that Jewel Santana was trying to shoot a video in the Lower East Side in True Life's hood and True Life's people would get the word and run down on Jim Jones and Jewel. Now an altercation that happened between Jim, Jewel's and True Life's people and supposedly during this altercation, Jim Jones would get hit and lose his ring and True Life and Jojo Capone people would get a hold of it. Now there was a video of Jojo Capone showing off this ring saying it was a gift to him for his birthday. But I see the video was taken down since. Now, according to Jojo Capone, this whole altercation with Jim Jones losing his ring had him and his team making jokes on Jim Jones, saying he was Sonic and they knocked the rings out of him. Now, this is my question. Did you Wells and Jim Jones try to shoot a video in the Lower East Side to taunt True Life because they was beefing with him and they know it was his hood? Or was it just a coincidence and that the location just happened to be in the LES? Now, I want to say one more thing before I wrap this video up. No matter how this altercation really went, it looks bad on Jew Wells and Jim Jones because true life people got that ring. It could have came off when Jim Jones was getting busy, but true life people got that ring. So they can taunt them like, yo, we beat them up took their ring, they could say anything, and we're going to believe it because they got the trophy. You know, this going to wrap up the whole True Life and Dipset beef. I don't really know any other stories that happened that was public information. You get what I'm saying? I might put them all together and make one mini documentary, but this basically wraps everything up. 
And you know, I just feel like the whole true life and dipset um story is kind of getting oversaturated. But anyway, if you're a fan of these old hip hop stories, tell a friend and tell a friend about my page. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. More content coming, and I'm out. One.